Hey DNA fam, what's going on, Assume people? Seed people on our Instagram and Facebook. Welcome to our first Bible study. Mm. Bible study with Assume Seed. Uh oh, something new. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> so each week we're gonna have a Bible study. We'll probably post it um, on Sundays. So if you um, are subscribed to us on YouTube, you'll get them on Sundays. But if only on social media then um you'll probably know monday <laughs> <laughs> okay so today we're going to um read the title well the title to the scripture is jacob wrestles with god and we are reading from genesis 32 24 to 31. Yeah. Yeah. all right make sure you have your bibles your pencil, okay. your paper, right. enough, whatever, enough, take notes, enough. and All right, stop. let's go. Enough, enough. Just a quick backstory. <laughs> We're going to focus on Jacob, and he's a character in the Bible. He had a twin brother, Esau, who was a little bit older than him. Uh, Jacob's name means trickster or liar, and there was a couple times that he tricked his brother in a moment of weakness to try to get something that he thought would make him wealthy. He also tricked his father and then ran away from home. And then years pass, he gets married, he starts a family. But his uncle actually starts tricking him and taking advantage of him. And he says, you know what, let me leave this place and head back home. And so as he's coming back home, he actually remembers what he did to his brother so many years ago and is overcome with fear. And now he's like, how do I face my family when I know I've treated them so bad in the past and they may be still thinking so negatively towards me? So it brings us to the scripture today. Yes. So here we go. Genesis 32, 24. Yeah. And Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he touched his hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Mm -hmm. Then he said, Let me go, for the day has broken. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but mm -hmm. Israel, for you have striven with God and with men and have prevailed. Mm -hmm. Then Jacob asked him, please tell me your name. But he <laughs> said, why is it that you ask my name? Right. And there he blessed him. Mm -hmm. So Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, mm -hmm. saying, for I have <laughs> seen enough. God face to face, and yet my life has been delivered. Yeah. I'm going to ask questions that we you might want to know answers to hearing this for the first time. Or if you haven't, you might want some clarification. And our expert here no, is no, going to... No, no, no. I want to just share what I know. Not saying I'm an expert by no means. <laughs> so, um, oh, let's pray first and then we'll ask the questions. Okay. Okay? All right, so, Father, we just thank you for this platform of sharing your word and just sharing what you revealed to us. And for everyone watching and everyone reading, I pray, God, that you would open up their ears to hear and their hearts to receive what your word has spoken to our hearts. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I remember reading this, mm -hmm. and I asked the question, what does it mean that Jacob wrestled with God? Yeah. And then it says to the breaking of day, why were they wrestling for this long? <laughs> and um, and if if it was God or an angel, like wouldn't wouldn't God win over Jacob? Mm -hmm. Like why would he be wrestling this long? And then another question is, oh my God, <laughs> why was Jacob keeping him there, and to bless him how? Okay. So you want me to answer all those questions? Answer all of them. <laughs> all right, so when we read the Old Testament, there's a historical context to it. So we can say, okay, this man had an encounter with God or an angel of God, and he was wrestling. And so there was physical pieces to that where he said, I won't let you go. So they, we know that they were holding on. But when I studied this and prayed about it, I see that there's another layer to it. It's kind of like uh, imagery. And so he's overcome with fear because he doesn't want to face his family. He doesn't want to face his brother. He thinks he might get killed or taken advantage of. So he sends all these things in front of him, and then he encounters God, and he knows who God is. Mm -hmm. So I was reading that, and in that context, I said, maybe the wrestle wasn't so much a fighting match where they're giving each other black eyes all the time, right. but this, you know, 
argument or this persuasion going back and forth where Jacob's trying to convince God to stay on his side or mm -hmm. Jacob's trying to convince God to go and do it another way so that he doesn't have to face this negative end. So it's like not a five minute text conversation. It's mm -hmm. like God came and met Jacob and Jacob was like, I'm so afraid. I don't want you to leave me yet. Mm -hmm. And so then I get to that scripture. I won't let go until you bless me. Why would he be trying to get blessed for like financial reasons. Mm -hmm. The right. blessing that I think he was talking about was God's protection, okay. was God's peace. And he's like, God, I, I'm about to face this dangerous opposition in front of me and I won't go there until you promise to protect me, until you can bless me and know that I'm going to be all right. Mm -hmm. And then I go to that next scripture and I look and he says, what was your name? I used to be a liar. I used to be a trickster. Mm -hmm. He said, and you're not going to be called that. He says, you've contended with God or prevailed or wrestled with God. Then he says, and with man mm -hmm. and have overcome or prevail which is he said i'm changing your name from liar to you're now going to be an overcomer and he's like so that's the blessing the blessing wasn't to make him rich the blessing was will you protect me will you see me through this problem mm -hmm. and god did just that and it was because he had this desperate you know desperation in his heart that says you know what god you're the only one that can get me through this he said, I've sent my family ahead of me. I sent my money ahead of me. I sent all my belongings ahead of me. God, it's only you that can protect me. And I'm going to hold on until you do. And I wow. believe that's what this whole experience was really about, what this wrestling mm -hmm. match was about. Now, of course, the Bible says that he hit him in the hip. Mm -hmm. Might be a cheap shot. Gave him a little handicap. But I think that's also to signify something deeper. That when we encounter God, we are changed for the rest of our life. There's a scripture later in that passage that Ashley read. It said that he limped, which means that his walk was forever altered mm -hmm. because of an encounter with God. Wow. And when I think about us, you know, I think about, okay, we face moments of fear. We face moments of being down and afraid. And it's like, who do we run to? Mm -hmm. You know, Jacob, he was in the middle of nowhere and, he, and God came to him. It's like, who are we wrestling with? And I remember WWF or now WWE, they had tag team wrestling matches. Yeah. It's like when you're really wrestling with something in your heart, who's your tag team partner? Mm -hmm. And then also he said Peniel or Peniel or it's mm -hmm. called the face of God. And that's the place where he wrestled and encountered God. So when you're in your fear or your doubt or your worry, where's the place that you're run, running to? And if you look at the story of Jacob, every answer was God. And then when we look at our life, every answer should be God. That we, our tag team partner in wrestling matches is God. Mm -hmm. Who are we running to? It should be God. Mm -hmm. Where is the place we're running to? The face or the presence of God. Yes. And when we follow all of that, Jacob wrestled, prevailed, and came on, out on top. And so shall we. Yes. <laughs> Well, that was so good. That was a good word. Yeah. Um, I think you answered all my questions. Oh, oh that's good. <laughs> but if you have any questions um, reading this scripture, any kind of comments, questions, whatever, mm -hmm. um, you can comment below. You can comment on our Facebook, Instagram, or DM us if you don't feel comfortable to put it out there on Instagram. <laughs> right, you, know, right. you can DM us and we'll definitely answer the questions we'll be checking every day um and i'm also let me just add this that this mm -hmm. is just what i've kind of come to study there's i think multiple revelations about this scripture or insights so if you have some feel free to share yes. how does this apply to your life because we're willing to learn from you just as much as we're trying to share what we've learned from god absolutely let's yeah. talk about it let's have a bible study <laughs> um so i guess that concludes our first bible study i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got something out of it yeah. and um we're going to keep going <laughs> so uh we'll see you next time we love you don't forget to subscribe and see you later god bless see you next time